Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smartyrl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smartyrl.it forward slash pass. This video channel with practice problems uh, for um, actuarial exams is at smartyrl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars for exams PFM, IFM, LTAM that I teach and also study manuals that I wrote for those exams. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today, for exam P. Claims filed for uh, under auto insurance policies follow a normal distribution with mean 19,400 and standard deviation 5,000. What is the probability that the average of 25 randomly selected claims exceeds 20,000? So this is clearly a probability problem for exam P. Let's look at the solution. And here it is. Let x1 through x25 denote the 25 collision claims, and we take their average, the sample mean, that's x bar equal to 1 over 25 times x1 plus x2 through x25. So it's the sum of x1 through x25, all 25 of them divided by 25, and that's sample mean. We are given that xi, each of them follows a normal distribution with mean 19,400 and standard deviation 5,000. Well then, it follows that x bar follows normal distribution with mean 19,400 uh, and standard deviation equal to 5,000 divided by square root of 25. And um, the reason is because the sum x1 through x25 has a variance equal to the sum of the variances. So that would be um, 25 times um, um, 5,000 squared. However, the variance um, um, of x bar would be 1 over 25 squared times that variance. So. 25 and 25 squared would cancel out, leaving only 25. So the variance of, of x bar is um, the sum of um, on the variances um, that we calculated before um, divided by uh, 25 squared, and that uh, comes out to be 5,000 squared divided by um, 25. And the square root of that is 5,000 divided by square root of 25 which is equal to 1,000. And then we um, look at the probability that x bar is greater than 20,000, and the reason this way that x bar minus its mean divided by 1,000 has to then be greater than 20,000 minus 19,400 over 1,000. That right-hand side is equal to 0 0.6. The left-hand side has a normal distribution. And it's a standard normal because we're subtracting the mean divided by standard deviation, so we standardize x bar this way. So this uh, is the probability that the standard normal random variable is greater than 0 0.6, which is 1 minus phi of 0 0.6, where phi is the CDF of a standard normal distribution. And we can look up uh, phi of 0 0.6 in the table, that's 0 0.7257 or now you have a normal random variable calculator on the test. Either way, you look it up. So this is 1 minus 0 0.7257, and uh, that's equal to 0 0.2743, which is answer C. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies, and good luck on the test.